Howdy y'all, Jackson here with the Trick Studios, and welcome back to another week of the historic college football playoff. This one for the 1977 college football season. Let's just hop into it. We'll start things off in Miami, Florida, and the Orange Bowl as the number one Texas Longhorns take on the number four Michigan Wolverines. And late in the second quarter to break a 0-0 tie, those Texas Longhorns would kick this field goal. Eventually, they'd follow that up early in the fourth, as Earl Campbell would find his way into the end zone from seven yards out. And that would be enough, as it was a stout defensive struggle between the two teams, as Texas ekes out a 10-0 victory. We now head to Pasadena, California, and the Rose Bowl, as the number two Oklahoma Sooners take on the number three Alabama Crimson Tide. And it would be the Tide that would get on the scoreboard first, kicking this field goal midway through the first. So Oklahoma would respond early in the second, as Elvis Peacock would take this option pitch out in from five yards out. And they'd soon follow that up with this field goal to make it a seven-point game to head into halftime. So Alabama would draw first blood in the second half, as late in the third, Jeff Rutledge would find Ozzie Newsom for a 24-yard score to tie things up at 10. And then late in the fourth, they'd take the lead, as Johnny Davis would get in from five yards out. And that would do it, as the Tide come back from seven down at half to win 17-10 to over the number two Oklahoma Sooners to advance the national championship in the Sugar Bowl. Now before we head on to that national championship, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and remind you to hit that like button if you are enjoying the video and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you have not already. Now on to the national championship. We now find ourselves in New Orleans, Louisiana and the Superdome as the number one Texas Longhorn take on the number three Alabama Crimson Tide in the Sugar Bowl national championship game. And it would be that Crimson Tide that would get on the scoreboard first as late in the first quarter Johnny Davis would find his way into the end zone from five yards out. Texas would respond though not long after kicking this field goal. And midway through the third, they'd take the lead as Earl Campbell would get in from four yards out. And though there would be over a quarter to play, Alabama would never be able to respond as Texas comes away with a 10-7 victory to claim the Sugar Bowl championship and the national championship. Once again, thank you all for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you have not already, and have enjoyed this series as a whole. Once again, I'd like to remind you if you have a specific college football season in which you'd like to see a playoff done, just leave it in the comment section and we'll get to it as soon as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Bye.